I'm Friedemann Kiefer and I'm Professor for Intravital Molecular Imaging at the European Institute for Molecular Imaging, short IMI in Münster. The IMI is an interfaculty institute that hosts physicians and natural scientists who all apply multimodal, multiscale imaging to solve biomedical questions. Now my group does research in the field of vascular biology with a particular focus on lymphatic vessels. Now what are lymphatic vessels? Everybody knows the blood vessels of the circulation, but lymph vessels are just as important. They form a dentriform second vascular system and they transport interstitial fluid, immune cells and dietary lipids. And so edema, inflammation, adipositas and tumor metastasis are all diseases directly linked to lymph vessel function. So one question we now ask is how do lymph vessels form? If we understand this process, we might harness it for vessel regeneration. Like blood vessels, lymph vessels are formed by a single layer of endothelial cells. And to directly observe these endothelial cells, we have generated transgenic mice where they express fluorescent proteins like M orange 2. And so in these mice, we can see the lymphatic vessels and their valves at work in the microscope. To understand embryonic vessel formation, we use intravital imaging in mouse models where endothelial cells and their progenitors now express a, flu a red fluorescent protein. So we use a number of confocal and light tube microscopes, but the central instrument for intravital microscopy is our multifotal microscope. Important for us is the combination of two excitation wavelengths that allows us to image multiple fluorescent proteins in live samples at the same time. And for that we have a Chameleon XR with which we excite the green fluorophores and a discovery that we use mostly between 11 and 1200 nanometers for the orange to dark red fluorophores. Now I've worked with TSA OPO systems before, but the discovery is far more comfortable to use. It's easy to tune, has a wide tuning range and provides lots of power. And the remote servicing capacity has been really helpful. So another question that we're extremely interested in is the oxygen delivery to the tissue. That's very important during tumor growth or, for instance, the development of inflammation. Using intravital microscopy, we can follow the growth of a brain tumor, a glioblastoma, and see how that tumor manipulates the surrounding blood vessels. Now, over the last years, we have been developing genetic sensors that allow us to determine the oxygenation status of living tissue in the organism. And with this tool, we can now study, using intravital microscopy, how tumor therapies influence oxygen delivery and how that affects the treatment. Thank you.